they broke. Today we will dive in to the NBA playoff predictions by myself, the expert, the NBA expert. Um, um, I would say I'm honored to be here, but um, you guys are just lucky to witness the expert herself in the flesh, giving you her predictions because I am never wrong. So with that being said, I will just share with you who I want to win this year. And I am obviously going for the Lakers. I feel like they're the most prepared in the playoffs. I feel like they really have the versatility to beat any team. Excuse me, what is that? You said what? Oh, they're not in? The what do you mean they're not in the playoffs? They're not in the... Excuse me a second. I'm back, I'm fine. Okay, we'll just cut that out. We'll just edit around that. Um, that's okay, that's okay. <laughs> What's that? You can't edit around this? All right, um, today we're gonna be talking about these NBA playoff predictions. Let's dive right in. So I feel like it's only right that we start with the best coast. That's the West Coast. First team we're getting into is the Trailblazers versus the Pelicans. The main thing I have to say about this series is Anthony Davis. He has really stepped up in the absence of DeMarcus Cousins and he's one of the best players in the NBA. There's really not much you're gonna be able to do about him, but I don't want that to overshadow the greatness that is Drew Holiday, okay? He's not the flashiest player, he's not the most entertaining player, I guess, but he has been putting in work since DeMarcus Cousins has been gone. He's averaging 19.4 points, 7.2 assists, and 4.7 rebounds since DeMarcus went down in January, and, and he's been playing some solid defense. He's an amazing floor general for them. Um, He's gonna give the Trailblazers some problems as well. Now, on the other hand, you got Damian Lillard. What time is it? Dame time. One of the most clutch players in the NBA. One of the most ridiculous shooters, just shot creators in the NBA, period. But you can really never underestimate Damian Lillard's squad. It's just not smart, not the best idea to do. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna go ahead and give it to the Pelicans. Y'all got it. It might be a long series, but the Pelicans will come out on top, in my humble opinion. Next is the Houston Rockets versus the Timberwolves. What do y'all want me to say? Um, the Rockets. <laughs> the Rockets. See, the primary weakness for the Wolves is definitely their defense, guys. They are not the best defensive team by a long shot. And playing against a team like the Rockets, you can't have that defensive weakness. It's just gonna be exploited. And Jimmy Butler's playing limited minutes as he just came off of an injury, so... Rockets got this. Y'all got this, guys. Next, we've got the Oklahoma City Thunder versus the Utah Jazz. The Jazz. The Jazz, I'm giving the edge to the Jazz. They've been playing amazing basketball. They have Defensive Player of the Year candidate, Rudy Gobert on their team. They have Rookie of the Year candidate, Donovan Mitchell on their team. And even though he's really their primary shot creator, he's been putting in serious work for that team. And so I'm gonna give them the edge. Even though Westbrook is a triple-double machine and he goes crazy, there's no way that I think the OKC Thunder can put together a stretch and, and win the series somehow. I, I don't see that happening. And the last one in the West has to go to the Warriors versus the Spurs. Now, the Warriors do not have Curry, and their net rating has actually gone way down because of that, but they're the Warriors. I mean, come on, you have Kevin Durant, Draymond Green, Klay Thompson, all on the same team. Once again, it's just like, why try? Why would you even underestimate them at this point? They have an all-star squad, literally. They literally have an all-star squad, so they're not gonna upset them unless somehow Kawhi decides to <laughs> not be injured anymore and he wants to play. You know, without Curry there and Kawhi wants to hop in, I, I don't know, an upset could happen. But um, if Kawhi doesn't stop playing around, I don't know what he's doing. Um, apparently during the first game, he was literally playing Fortnite. <sighs> Is Fortnite that entertaining to y'all? I don't get it. But anyways, he was playing some video games during their first game. <laughs> I don't think he cares enough to come back at this point. I don't know. But if he does, I think they have a shot at doing a little upset. Especially because LaMarcus Aldridge hasn't playing great. But by himself, he's not gonna upset 
the Warriors. That's just not gonna happen. But I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't mind seeing an upset in that round just because I feel like it's been so predictable. The Warriors finals, Warriors finals. So if they were eliminated in the first round, that would be pretty crazy. Even though the second round of playoffs kind of wouldn't be as entertaining. So I don't know. Actually, I think I would rather them go to the second round so it would be more entertaining. If somehow Kawhi returned and just upset everybody and just shocked the world, that would be really cool too. But for right now, of course, I'm picking the Warriors to win. Now we gotta bundle up because we're going to the East Coast. For the first teams in the East Coast, we got the Raptors versus the Wizards. A great matchup to me because John Wall is back. Thank God he came back. He came back around two weeks ago. Obviously, he makes a huge difference for the Wizards. Without John Wall, Get the brooms out, we're sweeping them. But with John Wall in there, it's gonna be a lot tougher for the Raptors. The Wizards are the eighth seed, but that's really not representative of them now with John Wall back in full effect doing his thing. The Raptors are gonna struggle. They're gonna struggle. But statistically, the Raptors have the best bench in the league. And just the way they've been playing offensively and defensively the whole season, it's hard to pick the Wizards over the Raptors, really. And I thought it was funny to note how the Wizards actually swept the Raptors two years ago. But um, the tides have turned. It's definitely not gonna be a sweep. <laughs> and the Wizards definitely aren't doing the sweeping. So I feel like the Raptors may lose two games at the most, but the Raptors have got this, in my opinion. So the Cavs versus the Pacers are next, and um, the Cavaliers have gotten that. Um, there's no real dispute about it. Even though Victor Oladipo, the most improved player in my opinion, really came up and brought the best out of his teammates, that's not enough to go by playoff LeBron and his squad. Even though his squad, you know, I guess you, they used to be struggling and people still kind of think of them as this broken team. But I don't know where that's coming from because recently they put together an amazing stretch. You know, they hadn't lost in a while coming up to playoffs. So people are still thinking of the Cavs as this broken down roster and oh, they're having these struggles. But they've been winning back to back to back to back. They were on a, I think it was like 11 game win streak or something crazy like that. And people weren't really talking about it because the whole narrative so far with the Cavs has been like their roster is trash, they are struggling. So I don't know if the media didn't want to really portray the fact that they were doing well again or what, because I didn't see that anywhere. So yeah, the Cavs might lose one game uh, they're not losing more than one game in my opinion. The guys have gotten this series easily. The next series is the 76ers versus the Heat. <sighs> Poor Heat, man. Um, the 76ers are doing amazing right now. There's no way they're losing this series, period. I mean, let's look at the stats. Since March, the Sixers are third offensively in the NBA and second defensively, even without Embiid for eight of the games. Now, compared to that, the Heat are 14th. Uh, offensively and 10th defensively so not really much of a contest. Rookie of the year candidate <laughs> Ben Simmons. Some of y'all feel some type of way about that. I'm gonna make a video about that because that's very interesting in my opinion but rookie of the year candidate Ben Simmons um he's put the team on his back he's doing amazing things. Markel Fultz came back and all the haters you know on his shot he's he's doing it. He's proving them wrong. You know you've got JJ Redick out on the wing you've got Covington it's I'm sorry, it's just not enough to beat the 76ers in a series, period. So the 76ers, honestly, they could sweep them. But I'm gonna give the Miami Heat one game. I gotta give my guys one game. I love the Miami Heat. So I'm gonna give them one game, but um, unfortunately, you have to get the 76ers. That did not work out in your favor. Last but not least, the Celtics versus the Bucks. Now, the Celtics are super lucky they got the Bucks. That was the best matchup they could have ever possibly wished for, literally. Because they don't have Kyrie, they don't have Gordon Hayward, obviously, and Marcus Smart is out until like game six. So they're running on E right now. Um, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, they've gotta hold down the fort. And I know they can against the Bucks. I know they can do that, but anybody else? And they would have been in some trouble. They would have been in some trouble. Even though the Bucks have Giannis, um, their defense. Their defense is not strong at all, and they're pretty inconsistent. My battery went out, but I was saying the Celtics better think they're lucky stars, they're lucky charms, whatever clovers, you know, that they be doing over there. Unfortunately, they're not getting caught. Tragic. And that's it for the NBA predictions, you guys. Um, I had to get very professional because, well, I am the NBA expert, and really, I've never gotten a prediction wrong. Am I lying? Yes, you don't need to know that. So, basically, what I said will come to pass, and we'll see if, it was true or not. But I want to know as of right now, what do you guys think? 
Go down in the comments and leave down below your predictions for all of round one. I know I'm a little late. I'm always a little late with this video every year. But for the next round, we'll be on time, guys. The finals and stuff is kicking in. I have two more weeks of school, so yeah, everything's crashing down, but I don't even know how I have time. I don't have time to record this, literally. Um, it's ridiculous, but yeah. Comment down below your picks. I would like to see what y'all think. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to join the Splash Blog. I'll see y'all later. Peace.